This BMC Helix Control M video shows what to check when one of your jobs fails, and how to resolve common issues that affect job execution. We will be looking at several jobs in the Control M monitoring domain that have had different kinds of failures. The first job we look at has ended not okay. To see what happened, we first look at the log of the job. Here we see that the job ran, and ended with return code 1. When an OS job ends with a non-zero return code, Control M will mark it as ended not OK. Next, we look at the job output. Here we see that the command the job ran failed. In this case it was a copy command which failed, because the target directory did not exist. The user should correct this problem and rerun the job. In the second job, we look at the job output and see that like the previous job, the copy command failed but instead the job ended OK. How did that happen? If we look further, we can see that the script this job runs finishes with an exit zero command. Therefore, even though one of the commands fails, the job ends with a zero return code, and Control M determines that the job ended OK. Scripts and programs should perform proper error handling, to ensure they end appropriately in Control M. Looking at job 3, we see in the job log a failed to submit error. The message says, invalid job owner user 123. This job failed because the run as user that was defined, user123, does not exist on the target machine. The run as user of the job should be corrected. In failed job 4, the log shows the following error. The agent is running in non-root mode and the password for job owner demo user1 has not been defined. This error means that Control M does not have the credentials to run jobs as this user. To resolve the problem, we need to go to configuration, agents, and then run as user management. We click the add button, and add the username demo user1 for our agent, and enter the correct password for this user. Finally, we click add. Now if we go back to monitoring and rerun the job, we see that it ends OK. In job 5, we again see in the job log a failed to submit error. This time the message is, the log on as a batch job privilege has not been granted to the user control M. On Windows machines, the privilege to run batch jobs is a user right that is not granted by default. Contact your system administrator to grant this right to the user. This can be done using the local security policy tool. There, go to local policies, user rights assignment, and then select log on as a batch job. We add the control M user, and click OK. When we now rerun the job, we can see it ends OK. Finally looking at job 6, we see it is in an executing status, and has been for a long time. Looking at the command it runs, we see it starts notepad.exe. The notepad application will not end until a user closes it, but because it was run as a batch job, there is no user that can see the window to close the application. This is an obvious example, but demonstrates a common issue. Programs that require user interaction, or otherwise use graphical resources available only on a desktop environment, will likely display bad behavior when run as a batch job. For this job, the only thing we can do to end the job execution is to kill the job. That concludes this BMC Helix Control M Solutions video. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos like this.